Hello, my name is Sally McNally and I'm coming to you today to talk to you about some yoga poses that might help release any trauma or abuse that might be hiding in your mind or your body. Uh, so just come with me today and just try a few of these poses. You don't have to hold them very long, you don't have to do them if you don't want to. Just do what you feel like doing. You're free, you're strong, you're healthy. Let's, let's make you even healthier. So just as you sit here, just close your eyes and just feel your breath. Don't try to listen to it, but feel it. Feel your breath coming in the inside of your body. And when you exhale, release and relax everything that you can find. Your head, your neck, your shoulders. Just do that a few times. Breathing in peace and breathing out any tension. Give yourself permission to be here right now. Just for these next few moments. Feel your own presence, your own breath, your own life, your own heartbeat, your own thoughts. You're in charge. Gonna release our hands and just lay your hands down on your legs and just drop your chin down and start to circle your head around very slowly as though you were just exploring what your head and neck could do. And just maybe three times circle your head one way and notice if there's any little crunchy sounds in the back of the neck, that's fine. There are those little places that you might be hiding, tight tension. We we'll release it now in a minute. We're going to turn now the other way, take your head back the other way. Feel your way in there. This is the body that you live in. This is your body. Good. And then maybe one more circle and notice those crunchy sounds are getting less and less. And then coming back to center, just drop your head down, relax your neck. And then slowly open your eyes if they're closed and, and look at your hands. These are your hands. You live inside your hands. And we'll just clasp the hands together and just turn your palms up into the sky and feel a lovely releasing as you press up into the sky, a kind of a freedom. Opening the armpit chest, opening the rib cage, opening the vertebrae in behind, opening the belly in front. And then release your hands and clasp now, taking a different finger first and pressing back up into the sky opening your brain and dropping your head back and open up your throat and your eyes. Just open your eyes as wide as they can go, as though you had seen yourself for the very first time. You're wonderful. You're strong. You're free. And then taking your head back and squeeze the arms towards the ears and then release your arms and open out each side all the way out, all the way down, and just touch the floor each side. Great. And then slowly, we'll straighten our legs out. And if you want to, and if you're sitting on something, you could slip yourself off that little pillow. You can see the little pillow I made for myself. It's very, very easy to sit on. And then we're going to take the inside of our knees one at a time and pull those knees back. Now you could stay on your little pillow if you need to, because if we haven't been practicing these poses, you might feel very stiff. Your hips might be stiff, your back might be stiff. We're going to clasp our hands around our feet like this and drop the knees and sit up nice and tall. And feel yourself sitting inside your body, dropping the knees, lifting up into the crown of the head. Feel something new coming, a newness, an energy, a brightness, a lightness, let it come into your life. Open your heart to that, open your hips. Those hips can be great hiding places where we dump a whole lot of secrets and memories. So any chance you get, do this little pose and just drop open the hips. 
give you a chance just to explore who you are, what you are, what's inside of you, what you want to hold on to, and what you need to get rid of. We'll release the feet now and we'll take the back of the knees at the same time. We we'll bring the legs together. I'm just going to stand up. <coughs> now this pose, it's just standing. <coughs> and if we weren't practicing yoga, we could be just standing on the line waiting to get into a concert or to check out, or just standing. But when we're doing yoga, it becomes the mountain pose. Tadasana. Standing like a mountain, strong, reaching up into the sky. Mountains are powerful, you're powerful. Feel the energy all around you coming up and into you. As though you were like a volcano with amazing energy inside of you, with amazing gifts to share. Breathe. Fan the flames of your talents. Let them grow, let them grow beautiful wild inside you. Feel the mountain of energy, of knowledge that you are. So this is Tadasana. And then release. Good. Now I just want you to bend your knees and just touch your fingers. This is a nice way into the next pose. We're just going to step our feet wide. And remember you can stop anytime you want. Or you can hold on for longer if you want. You're in charge. You want to lift that left foot and turn the whole leg in and turn the whole right leg out. All we're going to do here now is bend the right knee. You can bend it a little bit or a lot. It just depends on how flexible you are. And if you practice these poses every day, you'll get more flexible. You'll open up. you release tension, tighten soreness. God. So our goal is to get down so that we're sitting inside that right hip and then just turn your head and gaze out over the right hand. You don't have to hold it any longer if you don't want to. Or you could hold it just for a few more breaths. As though you were gazing off down, way down a pathway there at yourself in the past. And maybe you weren't in control and maybe people did things to you that you didn't want them to do and you, you felt helpless. Just see that and then release it. Come away from it and turn your feet. You can release your hands if you need to. We're just going to turn our feet, turn the legs, reach out into your hands again. Because there's another truth. There's another side to this story. Let's bend that left knee. Strong warrior. Big deep breaths now. We're going to turn our head and gaze out over that left hand and see the other side of the story, your future. See yourself happy, laughing, living the life that you've dreamt of. Getting through all of the obstacles. Smiling at friends and loved ones and family. Doing the job that you want living where you want and being in charge of your body and your mind. And then release it, straighten that leg, release your arms and just step your feet together. Make a few little circles now at your shoulders. Now remember, you don't have to hold as long as we did there. You can work up to that. Practice a few times and you'll get stronger. God, we're back on top of the mountain. And maybe this time we're standing right on the very top of the mountain and it's covered with snow. Beautiful white snow and it's cold and we don't have any shoes on and our feet feel so cool standing in that snow as though we were breathing through our feet a coolness, a cleansing. Lovely. That coolness coming all the way up into the places that you're burning. Cool it down. Off we go. Bending the knees, we'll step our feet apart just like we did. And this time we're going to turn our hands up and scoop the sky and turn your feet to the right. Turn that back foot all the way. Good. Now you could just stay like this and drop your head back if you're not dizzy. Press down into your feet, make your legs strong. 
If it feels right for you, you'll bend that right knee a little bit. Gaze at one spot and breathe. Long, slow, deep breaths. Go and feel the warrior rising up out of the earth, rising like a phoenix, rise. And then straighten that front knee. Leave your arms up if they feel strong and just turn and we'll rise on the other side. Turn that back foot, reach up into your fingers, drop your lower back, lift the pit of your belly, open your heart, open your heart, open your heart. Drop your head back now, open your throat, open so that you can speak your truth. Open your eyes so that you can see your destiny. It's a good one. You're free. Bend that front knee, fan it out. You're free now. You're strong. You're wise. You're healthy. Moving towards joy. Feel this inner warrior. You made it. And then release, come back up, you can release your arms, straighten your knee, and just turn and step back into the mat. Stand. Just close your eyes for a few moments. Notice maybe you feel a little wobbly or shaky. It's okay. I'm releasing tension and memories and secrets. Sometimes it's a little difficult, sometimes you get a little emotional when you're practicing and thinking like this. That's okay. Part of the cleansing and the healing that needs to go on in every cell in your body, in every thought in your mind, in every crevice and crease and corner, a little cave in your heart where you've hidden stuff. You're safe now. It's okay to open up and release that. Let yourself be healed. Let yourself be free. We're going to go again now as we bend our knees, fingers touching. One more warrior. We'll step our feet apart. We'll turn the palms up. We'll scoop that morning sky up and we'll turn to the right, just like we did that last one. And bend your right knee. This is going to bring you a lot of power. As you come forward, you're going to step that back foot closer and then you're going to reach forward and lift the back leg, even for just a second or two and then bend and come back down. Go, straighten that front knee, turn, and bring that warrior to the other side. We're gonna bend the front knee, look up, you could keep gazing up over your thumbs, lift the back heel, roll that right hip forward. You can step the back foot closer if you need to, and then launch yourself into your future. It's a great future. It's full of joy. And then bend the front knee, drop that foot back, back up, straighten your front knee, release your arms, turn and step your feet together. Okay, doing great. So now look at the ground and decide where you want to stand and grow. Maybe you feel your way onto a piece of the earth that feels right for you, a piece that feels nice and flat and safe. And then you're going to start to grow roots through that right foot. Now, if you need to, you could do this at the wall. This is fine when you're learning. You can stand at the wall and just take that left foot up, place it up high inside the right thigh, squeeze the foot and the leg together. So look for support in your life for where you need it right now. Could be just the wall, it could be a friend. It could be a counsellor, it could be a doctor. And then we we'll take the hands together. Now you could just stand here like this, because maybe you feel like just a little shrub of a tree. Or you could grow tall, brave, strong, grow through the obstacles, grow towards your true self. And as you grow up, grow back down into the earth as well. Grow a root down into the ground. Give yourself stability. Good. And then release. We're going to grow a tree on the other side now. Release your hands. Release your leg. Stand on the earth. Let yourself be somewhere. 
let yourself feel solid and safe, steady and strong. And we'll take that right foot up. This earth is for you too. You live here. And then take your hands together. So remember, you can lay against the wall when you're learning. Or if you're challenging the balance, come away a little bit. And then just take the hands up. Good. Feel the roots. Way down in the roots. Maybe some of your parents, grandparents, maybe let you down. Maybe they didn't all let you down. Maybe there's a good root down there. Breathe into that one. And then breathe up tall into the branches, out into the world, out into your children's children and beyond. And then please, we'll take our hands back, we'll release our hands, release your leg. Great, so now we're going to switch gears, come back this way. And we're going to just come to downward facing dog. We're going to stand like this and just walk your hands away from you like this. And step your feet apart. Now it's lovely, that was hard work what you were doing. Yeah, this should feel a little easier. It's okay to keep your knees a little bit bent if you need to. And after a while they might straighten. You could deliberately bend one for a few breaths and then deliberately bend the other. Remember, you're in complete control here. You're in charge. Long, slow, deep breaths. Again, you don't have to hold very long. Lifting the sit bones, pressing the heels down, bringing your chest closer and closer to your legs. And then if you feel tired, it's okay to come up high on your toes, come down on your knees and open your knees out wide like this and sit on your heels. Bring your belly and your chest closer to the floor. You can push your fingertips down and stretch your back and try to stay sitting on your heels as you come closer and closer and closer to the earth. And if you need to, you can open your legs out a little wider and stretch and rest and stretch and rest. And just take a few breaths here. Feel a heart connection with the earth. You really truly do belong here and you really truly do live inside your body and on this earth. And then slowly we'll come back up and we'll bring the legs together. Now we're just going to use the um, downward facing dog to come back now. Walk your hands back towards your feet. And I'm just going to turn around this way to show you. We end up like this. I want you to hold on to your elbows and just lift your elbows up past your head. Separate your feet about hip distance and then just drop down and let yourself rock a little bit around your legs. Feel how heavy your upper body is. So nice just to do this. Releasing tension out of the lower back and hips. And then we switch the cross of the arms, hold your elbows again, lift them up past your head as though you're pulling those arms off and then drop again and let yourself rock again. Rock and release, let yourself feel natural and free. Good, and then we drop our hands to the floor and bend your knees and start to roll back up as though you were taking residence inside your own body living in your legs, filling yourself up with energy like a helium balloon, filling yourself up into your shoulders, up into your neck, all the way up into your spine. Breathe. Good. Okay, so now we're going to go to the wall and what we're going to do, we're going to bring, maybe if you have a sticky mat, you don't need a sticky mat for this, we're going to bring our mat to the wall and we're just going to bring our hips down along the wall like this. So keeping your hips as close to the wall as you come down, close to the wall as you can, and then just swing your legs up like this. And just drop your hands out. So your legs are up on the wall, and your hands are dropped out to the floor. Long, slow, deep breaths here. So these are really nice and you might feel like doing this a lot because you feel so relaxed and so free. 
So take all the time you need to doing these poses. Maybe pick three today that you like and just do them tomorrow. And then the next day pick three or four. And just keep building on your yoga practice. Your yoga practice is so nice, it's going to make you feel so free and happy and strong and healthy. Now here's a nice thing you could do. You could press the legs into the wall and just open your legs out. And just keep pressing your legs into the wall. Drop your hands and breathe. Long, slow, deep breaths. And just feel how freeing it is to be in charge here. You're in charge of every movement. You don't have to ask anyone's permission. You don't have to do anything I'm suggesting here. It's all just what you feel like doing. You're gonna reach up now and hold the inside of your knees and just pull your knees kind of towards you and take the soles of your feet together. And just press your knees gently towards the wall. Long, slow, deep breaths. Good, and then release your legs and maybe put a hand on your heart and another hand on your belly. And this you could do laying down as well with your feet together. You could have an option here, and I'm going to show you the option. You could wriggle away from the wall, all the way away from the wall, and take the soles of your feet together and drop your knees. Drop your belly, one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. And tell yourself about yourself. Have a conversation inside and name one thing that you really like about yourself. Is it maybe the colour of your eyes or the shape of your fingers or maybe it's the way you laugh? What do people always say? I love the way you... What is that? Let's breathe into that. Let's grow that. Just feel the breathing underneath your hands and feel the heartbeat underneath your hands and, and realize that you're in there. You are in this human being. And then just release your hands and then just placing your feet on the ground you're just going to see what it feels like just to lift your hips up. And you can drop your hands out to the side, or you can take your hands over your head. You could put your hips on the block. We're not going to hold this long, but I'd like you to explore this and maybe do this for longer when you're at home. And then slowly release. We come back out. You're going to turn to your right side. And come back up. Good. I'm sitting like this in Dandasana. I'm just going to do two little twists. We're going to take this right foot here beside our um, heel, beside the bottom. And take your right hand around behind, reach up into your left hand and catch your elbow on the outside. Now maybe you can't get your elbow all the way over, that's okay. You could cradle your leg like that and turn. After a few weeks, maybe you'll be able to get the elbow on the outside, stretch into that front foot. Feel as though you were squeezing, like a dish cloth at the sink. But think about your abdomen and everything in there, all your bowel, your stomach, your liver, and squeezing out all of the secrets, all of the memories, get rid of it all, let it go. And then release. Back. We'll just do the other side. You're nearly done. Hang on in there. Last little poses here. Left hand behind. Reach up into that right arm. See if you can get it across. And if you can't, you're just going to cradle it like this. Lift, twist and turn. Bring your belly over your thigh. Lift and twist and turn. Stretch into your right foot. And release. Good. Now, last pose. We're going to lay down and start out with your feet flat on the ground and drop your palms turned up. Keep your arms a little bit away from your body. They don't have to be too far away. And just fix your shoulder blades, maybe fix your head if you need to and stretch out one leg and just drop that leg to the side. 
then stretch out your left leg and drop that left leg to the side. And just stay there. I'm going to talk to you while you're just moving into the last pose, which is called Shavasana. So as you lay there on the ground, just feel your body relaxing. Feel as though you had now this amazing ability to look inside your body, scan your body. Scan your legs, do they feel comfortable? Do they feel happy? Do they know that they can relax? Let your legs know that they can relax. And your back and your bottom and your shoulders and your shoulder blades and the back of your neck, everything there on the back, let it relax, release. As you take a big deep breath, and on the exhale, feel it melting down and into the earth below you. Notice your right arm relaxing, relaxing through the elbow, the wrist, and out into your fingerprints, into who you are. Relax that right arm. And then do the same on the left side, releasing, relaxing, letting go. And then your organs, the organs inside your body, your heart. Relax the muscles of your heart so that you can feel what you really need to feel. Feel the stuff that maybe you've forgotten. It's not all bad. Feel the stuff in the back of your heart. Feel the stuff that you need to feel. And then relaxing your liver and your kidneys and all of the organs, the stomach and intestines, all just laying there in peace. So you created this little puddle of peace for yourself. And then your face, your eyes, your lips, all the little muscles around your eyes and your lips. Release them, relax them. Relax your lower jaw. Relax your thumb. Relax your ears so that your ears can hear the sound of your sweet breath flowing into you and all of your tensions and worries flowing away from you. This is your life. These are your moments. You're really here. You're really alive and you're really in charge now. You're in charge of this life. And then relaxing your brain. Just feel as though your brain had just this big, huge smile right now. Nothing to worry about, nothing to fear, there's no danger, you're safe, you are safe. And just as anybody is welcome to live on this earth, you are welcome to live on this earth and you deserve the next breath. Sometimes you might think to yourself, it's not fair what happened to me, but this next breath will be fair. Breathe deep and full and notice that there is something wonderful to look forward to. This next breath, this next heartbeat, this next thought that you will have charge over. You have the thoughts that make you happy. Breathe in peace and breathe out any fear. You're safe. And then slowly and gently start to move your fingers and your toes. Bending your knees, roll over onto your right side. And take one last long deep breath there. Truly relaxing on the exhale. And then come back into a comfortable cross-legged sitting place. Taking your hands together in front of your heart. 
sit nice and tall, soft closed eyes. We close our class with the sound of OM just once, just an OM, just for yourself, as though you were OMing back into your own heart. Inhale. You can rise up from anything. You can completely recreate yourself. Nothing is permanent. You're not stuck. You have choices. You can think new thoughts. You can learn something new. You can create new habits. All that matters is that you decide today and then never look back. Sean Green, Namaste. Thank you for joining me today. Yoga is a great adventure. Just open that door, step inside. This is just a tiny snippet of the adventure that's waiting for you. Thank you for coming today. Namaste.